Hi, my name is Andrew Wilkins I'm with Sun Engineering. Today I'm going to be going over parameter file management. Let's do it. So, here we have our UAV and we have QGround control open. Now, we are just in software in the loop right now. This is just running on our computer. But um, everything is still going to be the same when you're doing this with your uh, in-person drone. So, we're going to click on the Q in the upper left-hand corner, go to Vehicle Setup. Go down to Parameters right here. Upper right hand corner, we're going to click Tools, and we are going to Save to File. Now this will save all of your parameters that we have here, everything that the drone needs to, to fly, you know, um, high level stuff like uh, how, you know, what reaction or yaw do you want to have when you reach a waypoint, all the way down to more of the grassroots stuff like the EKF2 and all these configuration parameters or your PIDs. So everything is in here. We can go to Save to File. And you usually want to name it whatever airframe that you're flying. So if you're flying an airframe called your name, it would be Andrew. <laughs> but for uh, our purposes today, we're just going to call it Siddle for software in the loop. And we are going to save those parameters. Now, we can make a change to whatever we'd like. Let's say that we're going to say, all right, well, let's, um, let's test what happens. Let's see how the drone flies when we change uh, our yaw mode once we hit a waypoint and we're going to say uh, we're going to yaw towards home and we hit save and we fly around the uav for a while and we say you know we, we really don't like how that looks well what we can do is we can just go to tools up here in the upper right hand corner say load from file select that file that we had saved before and you'll see right here that we kind of revert toward where we started off from we can hit okay and as you can see that parameter gets reset. Now we can obviously do those for a ton of different parameters. We can change that one and we can change, you know, this one. We can as long as it's within the bounds, we can change this one. And if we just go from load from file, select this again, it'll all get reset back to what was in that file. Now what people don't realize is that when you're loading up your parameter list, you don't have to load a whole parameter list. You can have just a few subsets of parameters that you'd like that you can actually load on different airframes. Let's say if you like, oh, uh, I wanna limit my speed in all of these airframes, you can have one parameter file that you load up on different airframes and it'll just change that parameter set. So that's what we're gonna do in this example. So let's say, let's go over here and let's open uh, our SIDL parameters that we save and let's say I want to have these parameters. I, I, I want to change these parameters on a few different vehicles. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go into copy. Let's go up, open up a new file, paste those there. What I like to do is I like to copy this header right here just to make sure that it's easy to read and we all know what's going on. And then we're going to save this. And we're gonna save this as maybe a little bit more detailed file. Let's say this is um, max velocity dot params. And we can save that. And then what we can do is we can load this onto an airframe using our parameters tab. So let's go ahead and change this. Let's say we wanna limit this to five and this value to five as well. You can go over here to Tools, click Load from File, select that the parameters list that we just made, this subset, and we can see that it's gonna change this on our current vehicle, and we can click OK. So that's kind of how you make a subset of parameters that you can more easily manage. So this is fine if you just wanna manage your parameters locally on your drive, but if you have a little bit of a large organization or if there's multiple people who might be changing these parameter files, it's really crucial for there to be some type of cloud-based organization. What we recommend is GitHub. The reason being is because you can create a branch, you can request merge and changes, you can make sure that other people approve your changes so that when you get out there and fly around your UAV, you're not scratching your head who changed the file. Or if you see something weird and how the UAV is acting, you can always revert back to the parameter file that you made before you made that change. So 
let's do that. So this, <clears throat> these two files actually that we created, we've actually been creating them in a GitHub repository. So if you don't know GitHub or Git, might be useful to take a time to pause the video and learn more about Git. But for the engineers out there, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna add these files. To our GitHub repository, name it initial, and we're going to push those up. So right now, as you can see, we're on the master branch, and we recommend that master is where your operations teams will pull from. If you're going out in the field and you want to test the latest branch, the most stable, it's master. Pull your parameter list from master. But let's say, hey, let's do some uh, let's do some crazy stuff. Let's try some new parameters. You can create a new branch. Let's say we're gonna name this one speed. So we're on branch speed, and we are going to change some values. So let's go ahead and just pump this up. We'll change this number right here. We can change this. So we can change as many parameters as we want. Go to tools, save the file, and then we can save it to siddle.params. As you can see over here, it's changed. We can add it, commit it. New speed changes. And if we go to our web browser, as you can see, we can do a compare and pull request. And if we scroll down, we can see the changes that were made. So we can also write comments in here, like flies so much better, exclamation points. Um, and then we can also assign reviewers. Let's go ahead and assign Zach and John to this. And why not Aaron? So that they can review this and say, oh, um, you know, these, these changes look good. And then we can create a pull request, merge in the master. Now master branch now becomes what everybody should be pulling from and loading up to their UAVs. So let's say that I have the day off tomorrow, and my coworker Zach goes and flies the drone, makes some parameter changes, and leaves them on the drone. I come in the next day, fly it, and go, well, why isn't it flying the exact same way that I flew it the other day? I can come to master, I can download the parameter list for Siddle, or whatever airframe you have, Hollybro, whatever, whatever it might be. And I can load those onto the UAV and say, there we go. There's, there's the, the reaction and the movements that I was expecting because I just loaded the master parameter list. So this gives you kind of a more structured way of managing parameter files, making sure that if a change is made, you can revert. Uh, and, and it really saves a lot of time and heartache when trying to figure out, well, why is a UAV flying like that? Why is this not working and it did a week ago? Um, and that's essentially it. Thank you very much for your time. Again, my name is Andrew Wilkins from Ascent Engineering. Have a great rest of the day.